If you guys want to learn how to make this really pretty glim fall wreath with all Dollar Tree items, stay tuned, I will show you how. Hello everyone, I'm Ramon and this is Ramona Home. On this channel we talk about interior design, seasonal home decor, DIY projects and shopping tips all on a budget so you can create a space that tells your story. On this video I want to show you how to make this really pretty full wreath with all Dollar Tree items, 100%. If you want to learn how to make this wreath, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ramona Home for future decorating ideas. We're just now getting started with fall and it's about to get really, really fun. Let's get started. For this Dollar Tree project, the tools we're going to need is one metal wreath from the Dollar Tree store, three of these uh, grapevine wreaths also from the Dollar Tree store and I have already pre-cutted them. I'll explain a little bit more in, the, in a second. We're gonna use uh, glitter ribbon and burlap ribbon. This came from the Dollar Tree and it's one of my favorite things I found. Also these brand new picks with a really pretty peony, we're going to need two of those. We're going to use some foliage from the Dollar Tree as well as this really pretty accent uh, Himalayan grass with uh, sunflower mums. Our tools are scissors, cutters, tape for your wire and 18 gauge wire. Let's get started. All right, the very first thing we want to do to start this wreath is we're going to uh, cover this form with some of this grapevine. And to do that, the first thing you want to do is remove the tags from all of your items because we know that you don't want to deal with those uh, pesky tags later on. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. I'm going to tape some wire and if you guys haven't seen uh, my how to make a wreath fundamentals video, I'm going to link it up on the i card. It's a very informational uh, video on how to uh, basics of wreath making that I have learned throughout the years working in the floral industry. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taping a wire and what we're going to use this for is to attach the grapevine into the metal form. So we have three wires and I'm going to go ahead and cut them in half so that way I have six to work with. Once we have taped our wire, the next step is to go ahead and cover this uh, form with some of this grapevine. And what you want to do is you want to actually go ahead and give it a little fluff. Let me move this guy right here. You want to go ahead and untwine them a little bit just so they are a little bit fuller like this. And then you want to put them on top of your form. And with one of these guys right here, you want to attach to the form. It's super easy and super simple to do. So we're gonna use two of them. And remember, you wanna make it bigger than the form, so what you need to do is you need to push outer and then attach with one of your wires. So we're gonna do the same over here. We're gonna go ahead right here. We're going to attach to the metal form with a wire. And then what we're going to do is you want to go ahead and pull open and then attach. It's kind of a messy job to do, but it's such a pretty impact when you get it all done. So we have one more to do. And I think this I'm going to split in half. Like I said, it is a messy job, but it's a really pretty impact. So don't mind the mess right here. See, just like that. And we're going to attach to our form. It's very important that you tape these uh, wires because it really allows you to play with with the wire and it doesn't hurt your hands. It's very important that you do that. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna put one more wire right here. Attach it to the form. See, now our form, it's just fuller, so it's gonna give us more up room to play with. Alright, so this is what our form looks like. Uh, basically, this is uh, three grapevine wreaths and one metal wreath from the dollar store. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a treatment on the top. And for that, I have selected some of these pretty um, foliages. These are also a dollar and there's six little stems on it. And you know, if you've seen me do wreaths before, you know that I like to 
cut them all from the stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to this accent flower right here. Because it is easier once it's all cut out. So what I do is I just cut them and then I distribute them uh, by type. So I'm gonna do my flowers right here, my foliage is right here. And then I have my two focal point flowers right here. So let me get those tags off. Now this particular flower I just found today at the Dollar Tree and it's so pretty. I cannot believe this is a dollar, all right? So what we need to do is we want to start on our top. And what I want to do is I want to do a different type of a funky bow. If you guys don't know how to make a funky bow, I have a video on how to show you how to do three types of bows and the funky bow is one of them. But this is a different kind of funky bow. So I'm gonna give it a tail about this long. And so what you wanna do is pinch and then loop right here. And you wanna pinch and then you wanna start your bow. Now I like this particular bow because it's very full. So what I want to do is do a really full bow on the top and then insert some of the flowers. So I'm gonna do two loops on each side and I'm gonna cut a tail. Then what I'm going to do with this guy right here, I'm gonna give it a smaller tail going up. And because you already have your loop right here, you don't need to do another one. So you just need to elongate this right here. And I just want a little touch of glam, so I'm just gonna do two. And actually that's all I have room for. Then I'm gonna do that right here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab one of your wires and go through the loop right here and bend down. All right, and then you wanna pull back and pull real tight and then spin around to create your bow. And I have already made another two that I have over here. And these are smaller tails. So what I wanna do is I wanna attach the one with the longer tails first and I'm gonna do that one in the very top. And what we're gonna use the other two is to make this funky bow even bigger. So I'm, I just wanna make sure that my tails are going down. So make sure that your tails are down on the bottom so that way they're not on my way. Like this. And then I'm gonna use another bow up here on the top to start making this bow bigger. Now you can make as many bows as you like. And the more bows you make, the bigger that bow on the top. What we're looking for is a little bit of drum on the top. You know, if you know me, if you've been following me for my seasonal decorating, you know I live for a little bit of drama. So then we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this other one right here. And look how pretty that bow looks. Nobody will tell that it is three bows instead of one. And what I like about this particular kind of bow is because it really allows you to fill it up as much as you want. All right, once we have our bow made, this is the, the rest of it is just a piece of cake. Look how pretty that looks, you guys. All right, so the rest of it is, like I said, piece of cake. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna insert some of these foliages going down, just on both sides. Make it even. There's nothing prettier than balance when you're making a wreath. So you wanna balance these uh, wreaths evenly on both sides, all right? This is the easiest wreath you'll ever make. So once we have defined our focal point, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and insert the main flower first to make sure it shows. So we're going to add this guy right about here and one more right about here. Right? And then this is our little focal flower. You just want to add a few of these guys. This is also what I would call the flyaways. Now this is when you want to go ahead and hot glue them for the video purpose, I would just insert them, but uh, if I'm making this permanent, then I would add a little dab of glue right here and insert to make sure it stays, or I would uh, poke it into my glue pan. And then I'm gonna do one on the top right here, just to make sure that it's balanced. And because I won't put one on the top right here, I wanna go down to the bottom and do another one down here, and one more on the top. And once you finish inserting your flowers, Go ahead and pull your tails out 
and make sure they're dovetailed because they look finished when they're dovetailed just like this and this is what our wreath looks like what do you guys think? made with all Dollar Tree items can you believe that? I hope you guys like it all right, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I really had fun shopping at the Dollar Tree for this particular project. I cannot believe how much they've upped their game on the picks and foliages and florals at the Dollar Tree. Fall is just around the corner and we're just now getting started with all these fall projects. So if you don't follow my channel, hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you don't miss any of these projects. Now I'm gonna turn it over to you. Please let me know in the comment section below what has been your favorite item you've ever found at the Dollar Tree. I have created a playlist with all of my favorite fall projects and I'm gonna link it up on the iCard so you can check them out. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Ramona Home for future decorating ideas. Until next time, bye. The thing I wanna do is I wanna layer one of these big foliages like this. And I want to start building from there. You just want to see what you want to do next. Then I'm going to add a smaller one next to it. And then what I want to do is I want to add this bushel of 